Welcome back everybody to another episode on the channel. We're starting off in the truck once yet again. So today's episode guys, um, we are going out and doing some bow hunting. So guys, I have got, I've got a stand, one of my stands, my mobile setup, I actually left in a tree out on uh, the private land that I hunt. Um, and to, I need it for this next coming weekend. I'm gonna be doing some public land hunting. So um, today I'm going to be pulling that down, but I figured, you know what? I might as well go out and sit in it for the evening and see what happens. I haven't had a trail cam on that side of the property for some time. So I don't know what's over there, but it's about, I don't know, maybe like 100 yards in away off of a field edge. Um, so there's good food source there. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a good evening stand um, with the food source being there and everything like that. And we have a perfect wind for it today. If we didn't have the right wind, I would just go in and pull it out. Um, but since we have the right wind, I'm gonna hunt it. And uh, yeah, it's, it should be a good day. The pre-rut is pretty much right around the corner. Um, in some places, some people are saying that the pre-rut's already starting. Uh, today, I really don't think that the pre-rut has started um, in my area. Usually, it's towards the end of October every year when the pre-rut kind of starts where I'm at. So I don't think it's really started yet, but we'll see. I mean, maybe maybe those bucks will be up and moving. Um, pre-rut is a great time to be hitting it in the mornings. Unfortunately, I could only get out this afternoon. So I'm super jacked about it, guys. I'm gonna get out there a little earlier than usual just because I'm ready to get out there and get, get set up. I wanna check over my stand a little bit more too as well. So I'm super, super stoked. So that's what we're doing. We're driving out there and once we get out there, guys, we're, we're gonna get in the stand. And uh, oh, before I forget, before I forget, guys, um, I left my, my camera arm in my other tree. I, I don't know why I forgot the camera arm, but I left it in one of my stands that I'll be hunting uh, hunting pretty soon here. Um, and I ordered another camera arm, but it just didn't come in in time. So um, we will not have a camera arm for today. So I'm gonna film what I can with the big camera, but if a big shooter buck comes through, I do have my GoPro with like kind of a bendy tripod deal that I will have posted up. So if anything, um, a big shooter buck comes through and I take a shot, if anything, we'll have the GoPro to, to catch that. So stay tuned everybody. We're gonna keep going and, and get out there. There's a doe out here in this in these beans feeding already guys. Small doe just feeding in the in the beans here. Yeah. She don't look too spooked though. Just, I don't think she knows where she wants to go just yet. <laughs> My stand setup is right back in there. There's a there's a point back over there. Basically, we're going to be hunting that and trying to catch them coming through out onto the field edge. So I was just thinking about how this would probably be a great little edge to hunt. Could slip back in any, any of these big trees here and be covered up. Looks like we got like an old, old rub here, but uh, so far no, no fresh sign through here, guys. But nice old rub, but I'm really trying to see if I can find some fresh sign. Everybody, so I'm all set in the stand. It's a little after three o'clock. Um, you know, I didn't see any like fresh deer sign coming in. I seen. Um, there was definitely like, you know, where they kind of have started to make scrapes, but nothing really huge. A lot of old rubs and things like that. Um, I've personally seen bucks make rubs in this area before when I've been out hunting. So there's definitely, um, you know, old sign in here, but I haven't seen anything new. Uh, we did see that deer, that doe in the field feeding on the beans as we came in, which I told you guys, they've been really feeding on the beans out here lately. So, um, you know, I'm hoping to see something come off of this. There's basically a point over behind me here. 
and uh, kind of a valley down over here and I know that they bed up on the other side of the point on the valley and they like to kind of cut through this valley sometimes and come up this way towards these fields and uh, there's not really any beans or food source over there it's really over here so any deer um, that comes through I should be catching them through here um, coming out of that thicker bedding so basically I'm hoping to catch you know some bucks or does just moving through here I might even rattle and grunt a little bit um, a little later and just just see what that does um, just because I know the pre-rut is right around the corner and I don't know exactly where these these bucks are at with that um, but like I said guys uh, we have a west wind so it's coming at my face it's blowing my scent this way which is perfect for this stand um, and we'll, we'll just kind of see what happens it should be a pretty good sit um, but it's a little warmer than I thought it was going to be but uh, I didn't kick anything that I seen anyway on the way in so um, but yeah otherwise we're going to sit um, we're definitely taking the stand out with us tonight um, because we're going to be hitting some public land next weekend so I'm super excited about that but we're going to kind of hunker down get quiet and I don't have a camera arm guys so I'm going to be filming kind of freehand with the big camera but I guess if a shooter buck comes through that I'm going to shoot I have the GoPro up above me here and I'm just going to turn that on and get the get the image the best I can so I'm going to kind of quiet down and get ready so stay tuned. All right, everybody, so we made it out of the stand and out of the woods there. I had to get my, my tree stand out of the woods, so I didn't really film anything because I just put it in my pack and, and focused on getting that thing packed up and out of there. Um, but we ended up seeing, you know, we kicked a doe on the way in, and then we ended up seeing three does come through. I didn't even see them in front of me. Um, it was so windy, I couldn't really hear. And then finally they came through, and then they went out into the field, and I could see them feeding out there. And all of a sudden they kind of took off a little bit, but they kind of were doing circles. I don't know if it was a couple fawns playing or what um, but yeah so that's what we seen for the evening um, after I packed up and left and I was driving out um, I you kind of got a snake back in there into the fields and in one of the fields I seen a small little buck out there but uh, um, you know I, I thought I that spot that I was in is really good for a west wind northwest wind as well um, it's really good for that but it's really good during the rut because bucks cruise through there going from you know scent checking different beddings and they cruise through they're like crazy um, but early season um, it seems like I see does there all the time but you know 
I was really just hoping to, to see a big buck, but there really wasn't any sign there at all. Um, I figured, you know what, I had to get that stand out of the tree so I can use it for some public land hunts this next weekend, but um, there was no fresh sign for, for buck sign, so it doesn't surprise me, I guess, that we didn't see anything, but nevertheless, it was a fun hunt. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned, guys, because the pre-rut and rut hunting videos will be coming. I'm going to be hitting the woods like crazy coming up here in the next, uh, next like, basically next month until um, gun season. So stay tuned for all those videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.